Included in the standard financial statements with Sage 50 is this report called the Standard Income 12 Period. It's a very handy report because it breaks down your current fiscal year uh, by month. So you can see here we've got period 1 through period 12. But if you go to the options, you'll see that there is no place where you can choose a date range. That means you can only run it for whatever your current period is. Um, you could change your, your current period back to something in the first of your two open years and run it for that year, but there's no way that you can run it for a closed year. However, with one simple little change, we can, we can turn that functionality on. While you're viewing the report, you just click the Save button and give this a new name so that it becomes a custom financial statement. We'll just call it My Income 12 period. So you can see the report name changed up there. And also, if you go back to the list, it now shows in the list there. Now, when you run the report, or if you were to click the options button while you're already viewing it, you have the ability to choose a time frame. So the important thing is that you always want to run this for from December to December, assuming you're on a, a calendar year. If on your fiscal year, it'll be the last month of your fiscal year. But the mistake that so many people make is that they'll run it from January through December, and then they get garbage on their report. And that's why the standard report works the way it does. Actually, when they first released this statement, or they, when they first added it, you could choose a time period, but most people would set the date wrong, and then they couldn't understand why the amounts were all wrong on this statement. But to understand what's going on, let's take a little look at the design. So I'm going to hit the design button here, and we're going to go into the column description properties. And you can see that here on the period 12 column, the time frame is defined as current. The dates that you choose in the, in the options screen define what current means for the context of this report. Then if you go back to the period 11 column, you see it's current minus 1. Period 10 is current minus 2. It just keeps counting back one month or one fiscal period for each column. So if you define this period 12 column as January through December, then, for example, let's say you chose January through December of 2018 because you wanted to report on a prior year. Then period 11 would become December of 2017 or one month prior to the current period that you, that you defined for this report. And then period 10, where you expect to see October, you would be seeing November of 2017. So that's why you have to, to define the time frame um, you know, the, way, the way you do on this report because that's what makes, it, what makes it function. So if we set that from December to December, then we will get the correct numbers on this report. So that will let you get a 12-month uh, income statement for any year that you have in the history of your Sage 50 company. Hope you find that useful.